Welcome to this video. This is on how to factor three terms, and we're only factoring three terms here when the number in front of x squared equals 1, when there's no other number in front of x squared other than 1. The steps are, step number one, find all pairs that multiply together to equal the last term. The last term for the first one is 9. Step number two, use one of these pairs to add or subtract to equal the middle term. The middle term is 6x. And step three, use the pair to write your answer in factored form. So let's try these steps on these, this problem. Step number one, find all pairs that multiply together to equal the last term. The last term is 9. All pairs that multiply together to equal 9 are 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. Step 2, find one of these pairs by adding or subtracting them, by putting pluses and minuses in front of them to try to equal the middle term. The middle term is 6. So if I put a plus 3 in front of this and a plus 3 in front of this, without multiplying them, we're just going to add or subtract them. A positive 3 and a positive 3 is a positive 6. They do equal the middle term. That's step 2. Step 3, use this pair that you created to put your answer in factored form. You're always going to have two big parentheses. And since the first term is x squared, you're always going to have an x and an x in the first spots of each parentheses. And then you're going to use your pair that you created with the signs. A plus 3 and a plus 3. So the factored form of x squared plus 6x plus 9 is x plus 3 times x plus 3. Or you could just say x plus 3 squared since you have two of them. The second problem, step number one, find all pairs that multiply together to equal the last term. 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is 24. 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 6 is 24. These are all the pairs that multiply together to equal 24. Can we find one of the pairs by putting plus or minuses in front of them, erasing the multiplication, but putting plus or minuses in front of them to try to equal the middle term a negative 5? And 24 minus 1 is 23. 12 minus 2 is 10. Do you see if I do this, if I put a negative 8 and a positive 3, Plus 3 minus 8, a positive 3 minus 8 is a negative 5. So this is the pair that we're going to use. Two big parentheses. X is in the first spot since we have an X squared. And then we're going to use the pair that we created with the signs. A plus 3 and a minus 8. Now, I would just check it just to verify that the last term is correct. You can just check it. This is our answer. But if you want to check it, a positive 3 times a negative 8, 3 times a negative 8 does equal a negative 24. And you see our last term is a negative 24. So this is our pair. And we've got one more we're going to try. x squared minus 20x plus 36. Step number one, find all pairs that multiply together to equal 36. 1 times 36. 2 times 18. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36. There sure are a lot of these. And finally, 6 times 6 is 36. Step number two. Find one of the pairs by putting plus or minuses in front of them to try to equal a negative 20. And if you take a look at all these, how can I get to negative 20? If I put a minus in front of the 2 and a minus in front of the 18 and just add or subtract them, a negative 2 and a negative 18 equals a negative 20. So this is our pair. Two big parentheses is the final step. Since there's an x square in the front, we always put x, x in each of the first spots. And then we use our pair. 
a minus 2 and a minus 18. And we are done. Now, a question is, what happens if I type this in? x minus 18 times x minus 2. They are the same answer. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. Uh, just as long as the signs are correct with each one. So either one of these is correct for an answer. You can put the x minus 2 first or the x minus 18 first. This was how to factor three terms. Thank you for watching the video.